present that? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not the silliest thing you've ever done. That's better. Okay, tie me up. All right, Howard, if you insist. Feet. Okay. The other one. Now, don't make this easy. Okay. Uh, you're about to see the struggle of man against the pimp. Howard, listen, uh, are you really sure that you know what you're doing? Are you kidding? I could do this trick with my hands tied behind my back. <laughs> now, whatever I say, don't take that gag out of my mouth. Oh, Howard, you're not going to be able to say anything with this gag in your mouth. Voila. That's easier than I thought. <laughs> okay. You okay, Howard? <laughs> Good. I'm going to get dinner on the table. <laughs> Not great. Tatum and the group in today, and I'm kind of worried about them. Oh, uh, well, then you just sit down and relax, and I'll get you a drink. What's, uh, what's new with you, Howard? <laughs> Never mind. Howard read a book on Houdini, and he's practicing his escapes. Oh, and I thought it was going to be something silly. So the guys are having a hard time, huh? Very. They've been on the street for six weeks and still haven't found a job. Oh, that must be so frustrating for them. Only when they get frustrated, they want to get together and talk about it, and they've done a lot of talking lately. Oh, that's good. At least they have each other to rely on. I'm not sure it is, though. I mean, they're, they're so busy consoling themselves, they don't have time to look for a job. Well, honey, just forget about it for tonight. Come on and relax and have a good dinner. Good idea. I'm starved. <laughs> oh, roast beef. Uh-huh. Mashed potatoes and gravy. Yes. Great. Let's get Howard, I believe the napkin goes in your lap. 